हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट इस कंटिन्यू विद इन विक्टस इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वार्मिंग अप एक्टिविटी इन 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 विक्टस इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द पोइम इन विक्टस व्हाट इस द सेंट्रल आइडिया ऑफ द पोइम इन विक्टस व्हाट हु इस द पोइम एंड व्हाट मैसेज द पोइम वांट्स � before that, uh, as I told you yesterday, the meaning of Invictus, the meaning is unconquered, which cannot be conquered. The poet want to suggest that he is unconquered, he cannot be conquered. And this poem is written by William Ernest Henley. William Ernest Henley was a very uh, famous poet and uh, he wrote this poem when uh, it is it is said that means uh, once i uh, read and through that i came to know that uh, he wrote this poem when he was uh, suffering with a very grave situation when he was suffering with a very uh, dangerous or uh, serious problem in his life very dangerous problem in his life uh, actually he wrote this poem when he was in hospital and you know uh, due to some problem or uh, the problem occurs that gangrene happens in his uh, in his leg and during that time he was going to I means the doctor uh, suggested him to cut his leg and uh, you know his leg was cut and uh, he was suffering from a great pain during that time and uh, during that time means he was thinking oh god what will happen now what I will do with one leg how my remaining life will be how would be my how would be my future all such things were going in his mind and in such mentality he wrote the poem in hospital itself okay it is, it is said like that and uh, but from the po from the uh, lines of the poem uh, we come to know that the poet is a very uh, you know firm that he is very much determined that he will not uh, give up to the situation okay this poem is actually showing the courage in the uh, in the face of the death though we are in the face of the death how we should survive with means uh, how we should try to survive with dignity and how we should uh, face the severe hardship in life so the poem is focusing on that okay Along with that, uh, we will see that uh, this in this poem, the poet is uh, telling us about uh, whatever things will happen, whatever uh, whatever things uh, will happen, or whatever actions will happen in his life, he will be responsible for that because he will decide what he says that I will decide what I want to do, and whatever it will uh, it will happen in future, I will see. I will be responsible for that, and. Uh, if you will see a very good cross is made actually a symbol of cross in the surgery the symbol of anchor is made there and there are beautiful lines are written there what is written on that lines he says that i am the master of my fate and i am the captain of my soul very nice lines so let us see what does it mean let us start the poem one by one okay uh, <clears throat> Invictus First stanza Out of the night that covers me Black as the pit from pole to pole I thank Whatever God may be For my unconquerable soul And what is his he, In the first stanza he is uh, Giving thanks to the God Okay he wants to Thanks to the God for what For giving him such an unconquerable soul And what is his In these first two lines he says, in such a grave situation, in such dangerous situation, in such painful situations, oh God, the situation in such painful situation which is as dark as from pole to poles. Oh God, you gave me such a soul which is unconquered. And for that, I want to thank I want thanks to you. I thanks you because you give me such a beautiful soul which is unconquered in such grave situation okay so this is what the in first stanza he wants to give the message he wants to thank to the god what second stanza says second stanza says in the fell clutch of circumstances i have not winced nor cried aloud 
under the blood going of chance my head is bloody but unborn see how nice he says in life i faced many problems many times it happened that i was failed in the clutch of the circumstances the situations became so grave that i was trapped in the, in that situations i was not able to do anything in that situations but in such situations also in such grave conditions also in that serious problems also i did not wince even i did not cry you know some people are there who uh, who remains crying in the grave situations he said no i did not even cried i did not even winced and under the bludgeoning of chances life played many things with me many ups and downs uh, happens in my life but in such situation also i was unbowed i did not give up to the situation i was unbowed and for that he wants to thanks to the god third stanza says beyond this place of war and tears looms but the horror of the shade and yet the menace of the years find and shall find me unafraid see how beautiful this as i told you he was in the hospital during that time and that's why he says beyond this place of war and tears and he is considering that hospital as a place of war and tears uh see the some meanings are also given here uh, whenever uh, you feel you did not understand any of the meanings which i am telling you apart from that so you can see the meanings also okay so he says uh, this he considering this place this hospital as the place of war and tears and he says beyond this place apart from this place also looms but the horror of the shade looms is hanging overhead the difficulties the situations the dangerous the dangers bad situations severe problems are hanging over my head but and yet the and yet the menace of the years but years after years after this also means in future okay today okay i am uh, lamb footed with one foot doctor has cut my foot but with this lamb foot also years after years from here from here from today onwards years after years you will find me and afraid you will not find that i will be afraid of the situation i will cry for the situation that oh god what i will do I, you will not find like uh, me like this you will find me unafraid because i am not going to give give up with the situation whatever will happen in my life this shows how uh, inspired uh, in how much how inspired uh, sorry how the poet is inspiring us to be unafraid in uh, uh, in the problems of our life it shows that how optimistic the poet is okay last stanza is this it matters not how straight the gates how charged with the punishment the scroll and i am the master of my fate and i am the captain of my soul and what is this it it does not matter how the straight how straight the gate and how much punishment i am going to get in future this is whatever i am being means in short what he wants to tell us that whatever i will i am doing i am responsible for that whatever actions i will do i will get the results if i if my actions will be right i will get a good results if my actions will be wrong then my results would be wrong my future my fate would be would be bad and that's why he says i will not afraid of the punishments that what kind of punishments i am going to get and thinking about the punishment i will not change my decisions i will take the decision and whatever will whatever uh, will happen in future i will face that because i will be responsible for that and that's why he says because i am the fate of i am the master of my fate means whatever actions i am doing see in that way i will get the result okay <clears throat> and that's why he says i am the master of my fate and i am the captain of my soul understood and in this way uh, he want to suggest is that he is unconquered he is unafraid of the situations he is invictus and we shall also be invictus 
in uh, grave situations in life okay uh, so let us stop here for today tomorrow we will continue with the english workshop on page number 29 okay thank you very much have a nice day